Hey guys, Cool Brick here with another set review. This is the Lego Creator Mountain Hut set. It's set number uh, 31025. And uh, so, yeah, there are actually three builds. This is the main build. There are also two alternate builds, which are going to be seen later in this video. So I'm going to try and go as quickly as I can through the details of this thing without missing anything. But I'm um, not making this video super long because, like I said, I'm also going to be going over the um, both of the alternate builds. So um, I'll just start out with the two um, little extra features, which would be this ATV. And I'll just pop the minifig off of this. And the seat actually came off with him. I'll just put this back on. And focus on these. So this is just the run of the mill tree. They basically use the same kind of build for a lot of their um, brick built trees. Uh, they use this in like some uh, holiday sets when they want to make like a Christmas tree they build it like this. So it's pretty standard but it is brick built which is nice. And then you've got this ATV and it has some nice um, <laughs> oops, sorry about that. It has some nice um, engine details under here and it uses these um, nicer um, thin wheels, so not the really fat ones, which is nice. This is more of like a minifig scale sort of one. And then they've just got some nice looking bodywork sort of stuff. They actually used a handle piece down here to, um, you know, it looks like, like a bumper or something. So anyway, that takes care of those. Um, so now I will show you guys the what the minifig looks like and the minifig is just a super super simple little guy if I can just get it on the there we go so just move this up here and this helmet's on crooked so there is no hair piece that comes with him just the helmet for the ATV and it's just super simple with most creator um, Sets, there's just no print on him, just a red shirt and dark blue pants, and of course the helmet, and this is a face we've seen many times, it's nothing new. So that takes care of the minifig. So now on to the, uh, the main build. So um, I'll start out in the right side over here. Um, so this is, you can see this is not very flattering view from the back, but from the side over here and also from over here it does look pretty good um, up here is a bald eagle uh, what's interesting about this is that it kind of has multiple biomes for this one small mountain <laughs> mountain um, in minifig scale this is probably like 20 or 30 feet tall which is like nothing but they have like separate biomes as if this was a several thousand foot mountain you've got like rivers and shrubbery stuff down here and then as you get higher there's like snow details and stuff, it's like snow capped. So even though it's actually not that big, it is, it, it's like a huge mountain with its features. And then I'm um, over here, um, it's kind of hard to see this because of white background, but um, this is like a chimney with um, puffs of smoke coming out of it. I thought that was a really great detail, just something really nice to add. Um, and then so the house, the roof doesn't come off, so what does happen is, if you guys noticed when I was showing you the back, you were probably wondering what the heck are these things. This is actually a locking mechanism in here. So that when you open this up like this, it will lock. And you've got actually another locking mechanism in here and over here. It's the same thing. So um, I will actually lower this so that we can look in here a little bit better. Just bring this closer. So in here, you just got a few simple details, but they definitely thought about this um, when it would be opened up, how things would look. So that way this is facing you and important stuff is facing you. So you've just got a little chest of drawers and a, uh, like a kerosene lamp or something. And then there's also a, um, a picture in there. That's a print, not a sticker. Right there on the right side. You can also kind of see how the inside was built. Uh, a few of these pieces are actually a little bit crooked. Um, I wasn't totally pleased with the way the roof was built. A couple things can be a little bit unstable if you are not careful with how you put it together. But other than that, it's um, pretty easy to find. 
The only thing is that this set has a lot of pieces, and when you're building it, the bags don't have numbers, since it's like an alternate build set and stuff, so the bags aren't going to have numbers, so you just have about 550 pieces just sitting in front of you, and you need to have enough room for all of that, and dig out, you know, what pieces you need. It's, that was a little bit tedious, in my opinion. Then on the left side, we've got a uh, small table with a coffee mug, the all-important coffee mug, always included in um, Lego says that of minifigs, and um, you've just got some logs over here in the corner. Um, those are stacked using a bracket piece, and then you've just got the fireplace um, in here, very simple. And then up here, uh, mounted on the mantelpiece, is a uh, the head of some horned animal. The horns look like that of a bison, but um, the skull looks more like that of a ram. So really, you can just use your imagination and decide what you want that to be. So that pretty much takes care of the interior. On the whoops, on the exterior of this, you've just got a small porch, very simple. And then over here, I thought this was a little bit out of place to have this uh, pot and just outdoor stove just sitting here. Um, it's super simple. I thought it might have looked better, maybe like over here or something, with a small table to accompany it or something. Like <laughs> it's just sitting here next to the bridge. I thought that was a little bit strange. Um, there's a little bridge that goes over this little creek, and the bridge over here is interesting. It has this very, this railing that's like very low to the bridge, and also it only leaves one stud of space for minifigs to stand, so I guess it's, um, it's okay. Sorry, I hit the camera. It's okay if the minifig is like standing like this and looking out, but like if you want him to walk, it's kind of awkward if you want him to be in a walking position, because one of his feet is just going to be hanging off. Um, and then over here you've just got nice water details and then uh, this build is actually not as crazy as you might think because it does use two burps <laughs> and if you're not familiar with the term burp it's an acronym for a big ugly rock piece um, and then it's hollow in here and like I said unflattering view when you're looking in here and there is just a little crystal thing hanging from the ceiling and um, that's basically it for in there um, so that basically takes care of it for the main build. So now I'll be, um, oh, uh, last thing that I want to show you is, uh, there's a little lamp here and a, a pickaxe over here, maybe for climbing the mountain. And the last thing is the chimney. This is what the, the exterior of the chimney looks like. It's pretty nice. Um, I actually put this one on backwards, this brick piece. This should be going the other way like these ones. <laughs> That's my bad. But, um. So yeah, that takes care of it for this uh, main build, and I'll show you guys the alternate okay, so builds here's now. Here's alternate build number one, and uh, this model looks really good from the front, and it's actually kind of deceiving, um, especially on the instruction booklet. The way that they had it is kind of like this, and you really couldn't tell the depth of the um, of the like actual structure. But then when you turn it, just look how freaking skinny this is. This is only four studs wide. Um, and there were just a ton of parts left over, which really surprised me. Um, I feel they could have made this at least a little bit lo um, deeper, or maybe longer or taller or something. But there were definitely like a sufficient amount of pieces left to make stuff bigger. Another interesting thing I noticed is they left out one of the 8x16 green plates. They used the 16x16 16 16 and one of the 8x16s, but they didn't even use the other one. Um, this one doesn't even have like a special feature or anything. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll start with just kind of doing a 360 view. You guys already saw the front, and you've just got a tree over here. It uh, looks pretty good from like this angle. Of course, the back isn't all that great. Um, you can definitely see like the outline of this burp right here. And uh, you've just got the gem in there again, and you can see the gem from the front through this little hole. And you can uh, place the figure in through here, but there's just really not very much room in there. And then you've got a uh, small bridge, which is actually, this bridge looks nice. And I like the way this the water is in this one, actually. I think I like it better than um, in the main build. Uh, and then this is just... Uh, there's there's a pretty sufficient amount of texture in here. It looks pretty good. Um, 
So onto the details. I'll start over here with this tree. And um, you actually got two birds this time. In the main model, there was only one bird, which is a bald eagle. And um, you've got two different kinds of birds. This is a woodpecker of some sort. And um, you can see it's uh, based on like the color here and stuff. It's pecking out some of the tree. Um, unfortunately, they did have to use this blue piece because, um, you know, this is an alternate build. They didn't have this piece in the right color for attaching the bird. Um, you can actually pretend it's <laughs> pecking the wood by going like that. And then you've got another bird up here. I'm guessing it's like a, a chickadee or something. Um, it would be a smaller bird with kind of one of those zoop tails at the back. And um, so down here, you've got the... Uh, just a little seat and an outdoor stove. The stove here is just like so much better than in the main build. If you remember in the main build, it was just a round 2x2 two two plate with four studs and a pot on it. This time you've actually got a seat, some rubble or ashes on the side. And then the pot even has like a little lid for it and stuff. It's more of like a kettle now, not just a pot. Which is nice and there's more detail in the fire and stuff. That's good. As I mentioned before, you can see the crystal um, in there. You've just got some rock detailing. And then you would go up the stairs, and then you've got a uh, another lamp up here on the railing. You've just got a simple railing over here. And then you would go up in this little ladder, and um, this is where things start to get a little bit strange. So first of all, um, <laughs> if you were to try and go up this ladder, you would smack your head on this pickaxe for one, which is not not too pleasant sounding. Um, then second, you've got a kind of a drawer, I think, or a table table drawer combination with a coffee mug on here. And even if this pickaxe wasn't here, just look, there's there's literally no room for the minifig to go through here. Like they'd have to high jump over this thing to get to bed. Um, the bed uh, made interesting use of of these jumper plates, they were one of the few uh, colorful pieces um, in the set, so I guess they decided to use that. And then you've just got a single window, and that's the only window that's on here, I think, oh, there's another one over here. So just two, and then very few of these roof pieces used. There's a little bit of texture on the top. Um, and that's basically it for this alternate build. Um, the tree is a little bit, um, you know, it's very brick looking. It's very Lego-esque, especially up here. Um, so I actually like that. It kind of goes back to the roots of Lego. But um, the last thing would be, uh, instead of having ATV, they give you a little wooden, I, won't, I don't even want to say canoe. This is just a crappy raft. I mean, and look, it's, it's square. It has... 90 degree corners and I mean you can kind of tell that it would be made from a log you know you still got some uneven parts like this stud here and kind of like it's made of logs um, these would be like ballasts that are very close to each other um, I don't like that they use this light bluish gray 2x6 uh, on the bottom but it was kind of their only choice because they didn't have a long you know, they didn't have a 2x6 in brown so and the other thing is it's just it's far too big for this little creek. So you're just going to have to imagine that you have a river. Or if you do have uh, another blue plate or something, you can pretend that he's rafting in there. So, um, yeah, that, that's basically it for this alternate build. And uh, so, yeah, now I'll just show you guys the last right, alternate so here's build. Here's the last of the three builds. And uh, this one is also not as big as the main build. And in my opinion, this is the second best one out of the three. So uh, I'll just start off with the ATV. And uh, this, so this one, like the main build, does have an ATV, but this is a different ATV. Um, the differences are you don't have the engine detail. Uh, it's built slightly differently in the base, and you've got a longer front end, and the pickaxe is stored on there. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same. Also, this section is on the front instead of the back, these fenders. So, yeah, there's not that much you can change with this ATV based on the parts that you have, but um, it is different, which is good. 
So moving on to this uh, this other cabin. So they used both of the large burps. Uh, one of them is here, and the other one is here. They used both of them in the build on this on the left side of the build, which is interesting um, that they uh, didn't use all the brown pieces on this, which is kind of good. Um, it also means there isn't that much room for windows. You've got two windows, one in the back and one here in the front. And then the door is on the side rather than at the front of it. Um, so focusing on the exterior, you just have a, a pond instead of a creek. Uh, this barely even qualifies as like a pond, but I guess I guess you can call it a pond. And you've just got a little duck in here. And then you've got a tree, which is sort of similar to the tree in the main build. But um, it's uh, you've got these slope pieces on it instead of just going completely with plates on the sides. And you've just got this bit of fence over here. Um, on the back, there's not that much to see. Uh, you can see this one hinges open as well. And here's the locking mechanism. And you've just got a little lamp here, and this would be like a doormat or something. And the last thing would be uh, the chimney, uh, which kind of is incorporated into this burp piece. And there is a stove on the other side of this, which I'll show when we get into the interior. And it uses a... Oops, I just... Don't worry about that. I dropped something else that's not with this set. Um, so this is similar to the main build with this kind of cloudy technique. It's supposed to represent puffs of smoke coming out of the chimney. Um, unfortunately, they used the white one by ones for other things, so they had to use these black ones. You can just pretend these are ashes going up with the smoke. So I will go ahead and open this up and it will lock. The only thing is that it um <laughs> this is actually really funny. You've got this little window here which I forgot to mention and when you turn this and it locks you can actually see from one end of the house into the other through that little window. Um, I think if you look through here you can see all the way through into the back section if you <laughs> It's really tough to see, but you can, in theory, which is, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, there's not that much room to stick your hands in here and put figures in, let alone play with them, even if you had smaller hands. Of course, my hands are much bigger than a, a child who would be playing with this, but um, again, there's just not that much space, and unfortunately, in the side with, the, with those large rock pieces, since there are no windows, there's very little light coming in there. Um, so as I was saying, there was a, there's a stove in here. I'm doing my best to get light in here, but it's just very difficult. You've just got uh, a grill piece and a round 2x2 two two plate in here and a jumper plate back there. You can put the pot on there. Um, either I missed it in, this, in the instructions. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it or something. It seems kind of odd that they left it there like that. Um, so, yeah, you can just put the pot on the stove there since they didn't use the pot anywhere else. And again, if it if I I might have missed it in the instructions, it may have said to put the pot there, but you can really just do what you like. And whoops, this tree came off a little bit. Um, so there's just another little lamp on there. Again, hard to see without enough light in here and a coffee mug. This is just on a little table right here. Um, and then this would probably be like the main hall sort of area. And you've got that print piece over here on the, well, if you were to walk in, it would be on the right side, but um, in this depiction, it would, it's on the left side. And uh, you've just got the window with the windowsill on the other side. And then you can, you know, shut this. Uh, there's not much else in here. That's basically it for uh, this uh, build. And that takes care of all three of the builds, the main build and the two alternates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it was so long. I wanted to have all three builds in the same video. Uh, again, thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.